for you, oh, Chris. Oh, so early. Oh, dear. Oh, could you uh, prepare now a warning? Thanks so much. Who said if I lived in Pennsylvania, I would have already cast my vote for John Fetterman for many reasons? Who said that? Witch Hazel. No. That's that would a be really oh, bad Oprah guess. Winfrey in her new series. Right, the thing I asked for. Now a warning. Okay, thanks for the warning about Dr. Oz. No. Okay, well, good for her. Good for her. You called Oprah Witch Hazel. I did? Oh. Did. No, I did. Oh. No, I guessed. Yeah. And I got it wrong. Yeah. She's going to put a curse on us. Okay. Uh, Chris, who said uh, if we do not show up to vote, if we did not get fired up in this moment, the people who will be in power will begin making decisions for us, decisions about how we care for our bodies, how we care for our kids, what books your children can read, who gets protected by the police, and who gets targeted. Who said that? Foghorn Leghorn. No, once again, that is uh, Oprah Winfrey. Oh, Good for her. It's a virtual a voting conversation she was having about the uh, midterms in which she warned us about. Dr. Oz. She gave us Apparently Dr. there's Oz. many, many reasons we should not vote for Dr. Oz. Can she do Dr. Phil next? I was just going to say, if Dr. Phil wins, is a write-in somewhere, Oprah? It's on you. Yeah. <laughs> it's on you, Oprah. Noted doctor of bullology, uh-huh. as we used to say. Okay. Um, so, I, you know, Chris, it's hard. There's, it's so little time, so much hate mail for you. Uh, and, you know, just your general naysayer doom and gloomness about the midterms. I'm here to be your foil. You know, I did. I sussed through and found one. I'm here to be realistic. Tweet. I found one support tweet for both of you, and the rest is pure hatred. Yeah, you know, nothing happens unless there's conflict. That's what makes things interesting. That's right. what pe- really? that's why people. Really, and makes my in. life more stressful. That's so the more stressed out I am, the better a show is what your contention is. That's why people is. tune in. Is that your view of producing? Fine. Okay. This is the worst game of ping pong ever. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Oh, wow. There's like pages and pages. Yeah, there's a lot to eat. It doesn't even start here. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Hmm. Okay. For instance, John Cooper uh, tweets, new early vote turnout, especially among young people and African Americans, is exceeding the record numbers uh, seen in the 2018 midterms. Awesome. Just saying. Because you just, uh, you cited tea leaves for your pessimism about the midterms? You're citing Twitter. I didn't say anything about tea leaves. Okay. Yes, you did. You said the tea leaves aren't looking good for Democrats. I didn't. I said said. nothing about tea leaves. Simon Rosenberg said new uh, Harvard, I don't know which poll that is, of 18 to 29 year olds finds uh, vote intent at or above heightened 2018 levels. Big Democratic lead 56 to uh, 31 percent as uh, T. Bonnier Keep saying it is. If this poll is right, Dems are going to have a very, very good midterm. Bob Seska, you know, I came in from my hike. All right. Oh no, I'm sorry. Bike yesterday. Right. Yeah. Bob Seska's very happy, clappy. Mister, the original Mister, don't get happy himself, is very happy about the midterms, based on early turnout and other things. I don't know what you're citing. Harvard Youth Poll. Kyle Griffin cites 40 percent of 18 to 29 year olds will definitely vote in the midterms. That's on track to match or potentially exceed the record-breaking 2018 youth turnout in midterms. Young voters prefer Democratic control of Congress. 57 percent to 31 percent. That was the other one I just cited. Okay, hold please. I'm not done. I'm just. I'm going to drown both of you naysayers in a tsunami of positivism. Of tweets. Yeah. Uh huh. Simon Rosenberg. Oh, Bob says we should follow him. He's fantastic. With uh, Republicans down from 2020 in what is a very big early vote and down from 2020 in most Senate battleground polling, talk of a red wave is wildly premature. Okay. Hold on. Hold, please. Oh, Mueller, she wrote, our good friend Allison Gill mm-hmm. says, FYI, for the last three elections, Republicans have been rigging polls to make it look like they're ahead so they can point to them when they uh, lose as evidence that they, should, they shouldn't have lost. Ignore the polls. Vote. I hope you're right. I'm just saying, you say, always say ignore the polls, and then you say, but the tea leaves say we're going to lose. So that's, okay. I will well, be on. Oh, hold on a minute. I will, yes. I will be on Ari Melber today You to counter Bill Maher being on this week, saying Republicans are definitely going to win the midterm. It's over. You are to to this. always saying, don't pay attention to the polls, but you're citing a um, huge list Actually, of I'm polls. citing more early turnout, is my point, is what the actual things we're seeing. Not just, and not just Kansas, but uh, New York 19, the early turnout in this so, election so is exceeding. Don't pay attention to the polls it's unless turnout. they're, it's, unless it's they're early skewing voting. your way. They're not Got polls. It. It's actual voting. That's the difference. By the way, I will be on Ari Melbourne today. We don't and know. And you know how you know I love America more than you do? They're, because of COVID, there's no more free car ride or hair and makeup. 
I have to do my own hair and makeup and drive myself. And that's how much I love America, Travis Bone. How much do you love America? I'll look tune like in. A, look like an old Crip Keeper hag on our, our which, number. For which you, America, so for watch. you. Pardon me? Which segment so I can watch? Fallback Friday. It's at the end of the show. I'm always the kicker. Have you? Have well, you, have I, you? I likely will be bumped for breaking news. You know what it is? Remember our old... Pardon me. I don't know why I still have page. I, I don't either. Remember our old uh, ABC show? At yeah. the end of the show, we would talk about what we were going to do the next day, but we would say, unless OJ kills someone else. So that was that's oh, the... I don't remember So I will that. be on Ari Melbourne today, unless Trump does something else illegal. Have you and there's a, always a good chance. A very good chance. Yeah. Do you have a fallback lined up yet? No, I don't. I, I mean, don't. I'll th- think. I have all day should, to think about that. There, there could be a Friday document. I just today. got down here 30 seconds before this yeah, started. Know. Really? You think I know now what I'm going to say? It- there could be a Friday a Friday document dump, and you'll yes. just get wiped out. Yes. Yeah. Historically, right. if you pay attention, I will be bumped. Yeah. Remember the, uh, when I was, key. God rest his soul, on Ed Schultz's show, oh. earpiece in, on the set at mm-hmm. MSNBC. Yep. Literally had, like, opened my mouth. To, I was like, because ah, I had a really good good joke like a that zinger. one i prepared like all day uh-huh. mm-hmm. travis i had a zinger the zingiest of zingers and suddenly in the chiron i see police gathering at michael jackson's estate i'm like oh i'm sure that's nothing he's fine let's go he's fine let's roll on the politics i don't he wasn't fine <laughs> no, i was like he was oh, that's felt. a lot of police cars what's sure nothing's it's fine you killed pay Michael t- Jackson with like, a joke. I did. I Don't killed pay Michael Jackson. Pay attention to me. <laughs> pay attention to me. I have him. a zinger ready to go about <laughs> this election cycle. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> big, big guy. Okay. Hold, oh, please. All right. Oh, some more. That's, I just I came loaded for bear this morning, and meaning you are the bear I came loaded for. Bear, stop. Get it? That's a gay. Bear, stop. I'm not a bear. Oh, you're not? No. I thought big muscle, I, muscle I gay men were bears. I read as bear, but I'm not He's a bear. He's bear-adjacent. I'm not even bear adjacent. Isn't bear a big, muscly gay man? No, big fat. They, gay man. They're hairy. Oh, bears are hairy. Well, you're I'm hairy not, sometimes. I'm not you hairy. know what? You're like a chia pet, though. You sometimes are hairy, and sometimes it. I'm not hairy. I I don't have body hair. I don't know what. Do you add water? I don't know. It's like things appear at the top of your head and the bottom, and then at they the disappear. Top of my head. Well, I don't know. You change your facial hair thing all the time. I don't know what's happening time. anymore. Didn't you used to have a handlebar mustache like last week? Are you running from the law? <laughs> no. Now he's posing as a dog lover, and he's, you know he's not good with dogs. He's Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible. He's going to rip off him, that mask. And someone be... let him babysit their husky. He does, this is how he pets dogs. Like, bam, 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 bam. Like a, you don't even... I don't. Spruce is a good-looking dog. Spruce yeah. is a good girl. Spruce thinks she's David Bowie. Those two different color eyes. She might be. How do you know she's not? All right, why do I still have this music on? Yeah. I can't remember. What, I don't know. Giving myself a headache. What was I asking you? Were you were loaded for bear. Bear, Doesn't stop. Doesn't your facial hair change all the time? Yes. We were trying to get you, Grandpa, to play a sound effect. That you are the bear. I'm just going to say you're bear, a bear. Bear, stop you it. You are the bear. Stop Dem- it, Democratic bear. motor enthusiasm. That's bear, definitely yelling at you for being a naysayer. <laughs> I'm not a bear. All right. It's close enough. Okay. I'll read his bear. I okay. do read as bear, but I'm oh, not a bear. These are the bear. This is the bear I'm loaded for. Okay. Simon Rosenberg. That the red wave didn't show up in the five house specials. It didn't show up in Kansas. It isn't showing up in the early vote. It isn't showing up in Senate battlegrounds. It may come, but it is not here yet. Thank you, Simon. Uh, Robbie Bright tweets. The problem with the polls right now has nothing to do with who they're polling. It's how they're polling and injecting skewed results into the conversation to suppress votes. The early vote is so strong. Even these uh, bad polls are 50-50. Don't trust them. Oh, I found one. I included one. There was only one tweet of support for you two. Homestead Tim tweets, uh, thank you, T-Bone and the Tool, for giving me reason to listen to someone else today. T-Bone and Tool in the morning, everybody. <laughs> T-Bone and Toolie in the morning, everybody. That's, that's what we call the show when you're on vacation. Yeah, that is exactly what it is. It's T-Bone and the Tool. We need shirts. I can't listen. We need shirts made. <laughs> yeah, that's you guys driving all the listeners away yesterday. Thank you. Okay. Lucretia said, I love you, Chris, but this Debbie Downer attitude about the elections is like Lindsey Graham. It sucks. Oh, Steph, I'm feeling positive, just like you. Why, thank you, Lucretia. I don't know what she meant by Who's that. Who's this one? Uh, Crazy Caddy says, uh, at this point in 2018, Democrats were behind 100,000 votes to Republicans. This year, we are ahead by 3.3 million votes nationally. So that's what, we're not talking about polls anymore. We're talking about actual turning. Um, and who's, who's this one? Billy um, says, Chris is a very emotional mansplainer. This is where you go, no, I'm not, stupid bitch. That's what, I'm just going to write your lines for you. That'd be funny. Just do it. No, I'm not going to do it. All right. Because I'm not. Do it. Do it. 
There are all kinds of articles about GOP polls being mixed in with all the others. Thank you. And then a very uh, see, I'm did he cite any? I'm a did he cite benevolent any? benevolent dictator? Lorraine supports you. He's the only one. What did he cite any of those? Uh, yeah, that's Twitter. Yeah. That's on a news source. Yeah. What I we. <laughs> I'm gonna Joy Reid like- just did a segment on this two days ago. We talked about it. That's what Ellison Gill was talking about. Is there's a lot of um, Republican commission polls. It t- it takes- they are flooding the zone. It is it changing the average, the uh, real clear politics average. It, okay, it takes do you want five your seconds to to uh, uh, insert a link into a tweet like that. I'm going to go but tweet right now that Democrats win in a landslide. There are a lot of blue Republican- wave is massive and huge, okay, so that you know means what? it's true, right? Because you, know you read what? it on Twitter. Thank you. Allison Gill, who I will cite till the cows come home, said for the last three elections, Republicans have been rigging polls to make it look like they're ahead so they can point to them when they lose as evidence that they shouldn't have lost. Citation. Thank you. Allison Gill, Mueller, she wrote. Okay. Do you want your love tweet or not? There's only like one, like a millennium. I'm not desperate for it. No, I'm, I'm, I don't seek. Lorraine says, uh, I agree with Chris. I hope to be pleasantly surprised, but I think Stephanie is being too happy, clappy, and somewhat delusional. Oh, you Lorraine okay yeah, I don't seek validation everywhere by Both the way those are my main comebacks is you're stupid and you hey you know what Frangela loved your comeback yesterday thank you so thank you they were like thank that, you that, listen who that has was time a good effort who good has effort time for intelligent good intelligent effort. well-reasoned comebacks they were petting her like I you pet st- a dog yes. I got stuff to do <laughs> that was a good radio host that was a good uh, good attempt <laughs> thank you thank you very much thank you I would this like a snusage please show. Hmm. Should we call Jody? Yeah, well, you know why? Because Glenn Kirshner canceled, and now my life is a bitter, empty hellscape. He He's spending his morning with the guy with one good eye. He's keeping an eye on the Stuart Rhodes trial yeah, yeah. for us. <laughs> Someone, Someone has, has to. to. He's keeping an eye out for some breaking news at the trial. I've got a lot of legal stuff. We need emergency legal help. Harry Littman, are you up in San Diego? Hello. It's got to be someone that can saying. actually hear my voice. Yeah. The, all the legal people are probably booked up today. Okay, well, I At need emergency legal help. Well, Somebody is listening. Well, see, Jill. MSNBC pays these people. Yeah, Joyce, that's the other thing. They get paid. Joyce, get Maya paid. Wiley, you've been kind of slacking over here on the Stephanie Miller Show. Let's go. Michael, our pro boner in Oakland, can call and help yes. us out. Oh, nice booking, Travis. Well, uh, <laughs> okay. we pay Michael as much all as right. we pay J- okay. Joyce Vance. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> he might be a very good lawyer. We don't know. I apologize for the C-wordy tone, which is why wow. you gave me a mug that says I am the... No, somebody else gave you that mug. It really? Was just, no. Yeah, that wasn't for You me. shared the thought. Okay. 19 minutes. Oh, wow. Yes, you did. We, we just spent 19 minutes yelling well, at each other. Well, that's we're getting like everybody yesterday. ready for Thanksgiving. People think it's yesterday's show. Right. <laughs> I, no, because I'm wearing my magical new Nancy Pelosi t-shirt. I want to punch him out. Don't, before you call, right wing douchebag, see, Nancy Pelosi is just as violent as anybody in the middle of the game. <laughs> is that directed at there, me I did that. I did that call in advance.